Hello everyone, my name is Tao. I'm a software engineer working on Messenger Platform. More specifically, I work on discovery products where we help you to get your bot experience discovered. Today, I will be talking about how to use different web plugins that we have on Messenger Platform to help you enhance your customer experience and get your bot discovered on your own website. Today, I'll give you an overview of what are those web plugins we have on our Messenger Platform and what are the use cases you can use those plugins for. And then I will walk you through the steps to help you build those plugins onto your website. So let's get started. What are those plugins we have on Messenger Platform? So as you can see from the slides, at Messenger Platform, we currently have four plugins that you can use. They are designed for different use cases and built for different workflows. There are Message Us plugin, and Send to Messenger plugin, Chat and Checkbox plugin, and Customer Chat plugin. And we'll dive into the details into it very soon. So now, imagine you are the owner of a website called Jasper's Market, where you sell your products or food online, and you want to improve your customer's experience. And also, you also have a Messenger bot that you build for your website to answer people's inquiries sending out weekly digest and send out order updates once they place the order on your website. So you spend a lot of time building this bot, but you find it's very hard to get those bots discovered. So how do you get your messenger bot discovered in this case and also enhance your customer's overall experience on your own website? This is when the plugins can help. The very first and also the easiest way to use our Message Us plugin Simply put this plugin on your contact page that will help a user discover your bot when they go to your website. And once they click on them, it will direct the user to Messenger and open a thread with your bot right there. Of course, you can also use the m.me link directly so they can click and get to your bot very easily. So as we talked about previously, the way Message Us work is very simple. It takes a user to Messenger you can use the plugin, and also you can use the short link. Or you can build a customized UI on top of the link. And we've seen a lot of people using it as a customer care entry point or as a simple entry point for their bot. And also we've seen, because the m.me link is so easy, a lot of people are using it as a sharing flow for people to share with friends to know their bot. So this is a very simple and straightforward use case where you can leverage our plugin on your website and get your bot discovered. And also to build it is also very, very easy. At high level, each plugin is basically some very simple HTML code that you can put on your website. The very first step to building those plugins is to include Facebook Platform SDK to your website, which is shown in the example code in the slides here. And it's basically some few lines of JavaScript code. This is the same SDK that you use for other Facebook developer products, such as Facebook Login, Facebook Like button. If you're already using those plugins, you don't need to do anything here. Also, we want to make sure only your website can use those plugins with your Facebook page. So there's a process to whitelist all those domains that can using those plugin. So you can either do this using our Messenger Profile API, or you can use our Page Settings UI to whitelist the domains you want those plugins to be shown on. So let's continue with Message Us plugin. To install this plugin, it's simply put this small piece of code on your website with your Facebook page ID and app ID. As we provided ways to choose the color and different size, you can customize the experience to fit your own website. Of course, if you're using m.me link directly, all you need to do is put the link on the website where you want it. And you can find your m.me link on the page in settings UI and simply copy it from there and start sharing with people. That's basically an introduction on how you can use Message Us plugin to get your bot discovered. It's a very simple and easy way to get your bot discovered. Now you have the Message Us plugin on your contact page, but not every customer would go to the contact page and you have a lot of functionalities on your bot that you want to be discovered. For example, now your Jasper's Market Messenger bot will start to send out weekly digest of your products through your bot, and you want your customers to receive those. 
What you want here is really just a button that a user can click on and opt in to allow your bot to message them. This is where Send to Messenger come into play. As you could see in this example, people can simply click on the Send to Messenger plugin and opt in to receive those updates from Jasper's market bot. If they already have a Facebook logged in, we'll show the user's name and profile pictures to making sure it's the right user, and we'll ask a user to log in first if they are logged out. And this is how Send to Messenger plugin works. It lets the user to stay in the context and allows the business to send a message. When user click on Send to Messenger and opt in to receive messages from you, we will send a Messenger opt-in webhook event to your webhook with the user's page scoped ID and other necessary data. For those of you who are not familiar with webhook, it's basically an HTTPS endpoint that you can use to receive event from Facebook. Once you receive those events, then you can start messaging the users with our Send API. We've seen a lot of use cases using Send to Messenger plugin. It can be a simple traffic growth tool for different bots, and also a lot of e-commerce use cases where they use those plugins to send notifications, receipts, and customer provide customer services too. Installation is pretty easy for Send to Messenger plugin. You just need to put this code on your website and specify the plugin you are using. You can also pass in an optional ref param and add any additional data you want to pass in. So when user click on Send to Messenger and opt in from the plugin, you will receive those ref params, and then you can start messaging the users. Of course, same as MessageJS plugin, you can also customize the color and size to best fit to your website. We are adding more capabilities to customize this experience here to make it sure it fits your website's look and feel. Once you have installed it and customized the plugin to your own need, you will need to update your webhook endpoint to handle the opt-in event. Once you receive the opt-in event, you will have user's uh, PSID. Then you can start using our Send API to send those messages to the user. Our Send API can be used to send a different type of messages, including text, images, and other template messages. The example we show here is simply sending a text message, hello world, to the user using the PSID you have from the web, webhook opt-in event. That's the Send to Messenger plugin, where it's really easy to use for a lot of subscription-based use cases and e-commerce-related notifications. It's a simple button that allows a user to opt into your bot and start receiving your messages. However, there are a lot of use cases where you don't want to be on the dedicated flow just for the plugin. Instead, you want the plugin to be able to blend it into your own business flow. So in this example on the slides, your customer has selected a great noodle salad from your website and uh, plan to check out. It will be great for the user if they can receive their order updates from your Messenger bot. You don't want to use Send to Messenger plugin here since you probably don't want to add an extra step for checkout flow and, and adding frictions there. But it's a perfect use case to use our checkbox plugin here. The difference here is instead of having to click on the Send to Messenger plugin and finish the opt-in flow there, users just need to check the checkbox, click Enter Cart, and finish the checkout flow, and they will be opting to your Messenger bot by simply completing the business flow. So this is how the checkbox plugin works. The main difference here with the Send to Messenger plugin is for Send to Messenger, you have to click on the plugin itself and finish the opt-in flow from there. But for checkbox plugin, you just need to build this plugin with your business flow. User just need to finish your business flow on your website, and then will be automatically opt-in as long as they check the checkbox. And we will send you the same Messenger opt-in event to your webhook once user opted in, and then you can start messaging user from there. The use cases are very similar to Send to Messenger where business use it for different e-commerce use cases where they send shipping notifications, receipts, and also provide different daily locations and the alerts. The installation for Checkbox plugin is very similar to all other plugins. You just need to put this simple HTML code into your website. The difference here is for Checkbox, the opt-in flow happened in a more implicit way, as you could see from the example. So when you use an opt-in, instead of giving you the PSID directly, we actually ask you to provide a unique user ref first. And when user opt-in, we will send this user ref to you 
through the opt-in event. And you can send the messages with this user ref. And until your user actually replies to your message, we will then reveal the user's PS ID to you to make sure we have a strong consent from the user. After you have installed the plugin on your website and uh, embedded into your own business flow, you need to send an event to confirm user has opt-in when they click on your business flow. In the example we show, when the user actually clicked on Enter Cart and checked the checkbox, you will need to call this function to send a user confirmation event to confirm user actually opted in. This code sample here basically shows how to do it. So after the opt-in confirmation event is received by us, we will send you a webhook event of the user opt-in. It will contain the user ref you provide and the optional ref param that you want to send. You can then use this user ref to send user messages from your bot. Now you can start sending messages using this user ref from our send API. With user ref, you cannot access user's public information until your user actually replies to your message to make sure we have a strong consent from the user. And then we will reveal user's PS ID to you. So this is how Messenger checkbox plugin works. It's a great use case if you want the plugin to be blended into your own business flow and enhance your customer experience. So far, you've seen three plugins that can help you enhance your customer experience on your website. You have the, send to, you have the Message Ask plugin on your contact page, and you have the Send to Messenger plugin on your digest page, where you can help get a user subscribed to your digest. And also, you have blended the checkbox plugin to your business flow, where a user can check out to their orders and start receiving their updates. All those interactions uh, definitely help you build a better experience, but eventually, they need to happen to mes on Messenger and taking user away from your website. What if I have a question about certain products on Jasper's market, and I want to resolve it while I am browsing the website? Or in some other cases, your bot can assist me using the site directly. We made this possible using our customer chat plugin. It's a plugin that you can place on your website and help the customer open the conversation right on your website. A customer can open the thread and start a conversation and asking questions using your bot all on your website. As a customer, you can chat with business on their website, and then later on, you can find all the messages on your messenger, and you can still interact with them. And as a business, you can retarget and re-engage with all those customers who chatted with you on Messenger. We launched this plugin last year, and we've seen a lot of adoptions from, from the business, and we've seen our users loving using those plugins. So the way customer chat plugin works is very straightforward. Once you place the plugin on your website, it will render render a greeting bubble on your website. When users click Chat Now, they will then start a thread on your web website. And all those messages happen on your website will be synced on their messenger. We've seen a lot of businesses adopting this plugin to provide customer chat or using different marketing and use cases where it help driving their sales. So the installation of customer chat plugin is not very different from other plugins. You just put this simple piece of code on your website where you want to show the plugin and specify your page ID. You can also provide an optional ref param. So when user initiated this conversation, you will get this ref param in a webhook event, and you can customize the experience for this user. We also provide you different ways to customize your experience. You can change the theme color of the plugin to match your website look and feel. You can also change the color of the text, the icon, and also message bubble to make it the plugin really blended into your website. You can also change the greeting text displayed here to making sure it's all customized to different use cases. You can also choose to hide or show these plugins when it's initially loaded. And we also provide you a tool on Pages UI where you can customize your plugin as you want it. And at the end, we will generate a code for you you can just put on your website. So when user clicks Chat Now and you have set a ref param, we will send you a webhook event to your webhook so you know user actually started the conversation from customer chat plugin. And then you can customize the experience from there. Let's have a recap. We have four plugins that we currently provide on Messenger platform. We have message us slash m.me links where text the user to Messenger and open a thread directly with the business. We also have send to Messenger plugin where it helps the user stay in the context of the website and by opting through the plugin allows the business to send messages to them. And similarly, we have checkbox plugin where you can blend this plugin into your own business flow. It also helps the user stay in the context of the website and opting to receive updates from the business. 
And at last, we have the customer chat plugin, where we allows the user to open conversations right on your website without leaving the context. So it's all designed for different use cases and for different business flows. You should choose the right plugin for your use case. If you have more questions, you can always visit our developer group on Facebook. And also, we have a dedicated uh, developer doc on Messenger platform. Thank you.